Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers, Generations, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. This is TG24 from Japan, Takara Tomi. And these are Commander class, so they're smaller class figures. There, there they are. Let's show the box as always. Small little box, uh, as you can see. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, a little Commander class. It's not that big. Takara Tomi, there's Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. Neat little box. I kind of like it. Yeah, in the back. Comes with Roller and Blaze Master. A little mini cons. Kind of very neat. I, I really like this Transformers Generations. So if you want to see the tech specs around the sides here. And let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure the one with all the tens is Optimus. That was Bumblebee, of course. Ain't no problem. Let's go to the figures. Uh, let's start with Bumblebee. Both of them are good, I think. Uh, I like Bumblebee better than. Optimus if you want to be a what do you want to call it so I'm just gonna put Optimus over to the side for a second get up bumblebee like the colors something I like about tech uh, yeah they forgot the minicon the minicon actually doesn't have this I just wanted to store it it has a little five mil port on the top here that and as far as the as far as bumblebee goes he rolls does what he needs to do I just love what the Kai Tomi does and the gold there, nice shiny. It's a deeper color gold. I like the blue. Look at the speckles on it. I like what Takata Tomi does with the colors on their Transformers. They cost a little more, but the, the color on it is just nicer. I have a little details, little details like the little Autobot symbol in the back here. The painted on, uh, neon, yellow, uh, not yellow, what do you call that? Red. Yeah, it's hard color. It's, it's very neon, futuristic looking. Cybertronian, the grill, the molding, little plastic tires, very low clearance as you can see it. Weird looking that, in that sense. From the bottom you can tell it's Bumblebee, but hey, it is what it is. It covers it pretty well, you can tell. The seams are a little bit off, but other than that, it's a nice looking car for the size. I like it. 8 out of 10. For, as for transformation is relatively simple as everything else you just pop that off and it's pretty easy if I can remember all of this I know this comes down oh, there we go these are commander class so it's not that difficult let me see if I remember all this there is the hand yeah there we go easy day you know, they just flip out pegs in sorry flip out pegs into there good yeah I wish I, I know this thing comes out feet I know there's a rotation whoops hips are on a ball joint I remember yes yes that's right feet do just pop out just like that so it's not too bad and the rotation here I know this thing comes down and trying to get that sucker in there probably move it up there we go all right so that's what you got to do just move it up neat little tiny figure I like that big hands for the ports ball joints as far as articulation nothing in the head but I do like the head sculpt very very G1 ish and that's what I like about the Katatomi they the Autobot symbol look at that, beautiful no no head articulation the, shoulder joint is in a ball joint it could swivel back here no uh, bicep swivel but elbow is on a ball joint and of course the wrist just moves in and out nothing on the torso or the waist ball jointed hip and a single joint at the knee but doesn't move much and of course this weird what do you call that uh, toe swivel stands up just fine as far as for the minicon set that to the side Minicon doesn't look like that. I got it just because I'm, he's in weapon mode right now. So I'll show you how to put him in his other two modes. Slides in his hand relatively well. So he's got that. And when he's not being used, he can peg it into his little wheel well. There we go. So yeah, his little copter blades right on. So not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. All right, bear with me. That's only one of them. <laughs> so as far as 
that is simple transformation if I can remember it I forgot how it was. I think, yeah, the entire thing slides forward. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. And yeah, the robot hands are there, so. There we go. That is the Minicon. And to transform him, he's really not that difficult. You got details in the head, and there you go. There is the Minicon. Yeah, a little details in the head there, and as far as articulation, you got that. Alright, yeah, not the most difficult Minicon to transform. Wonderful. Let's go to Optimus. Here's Optimus. Bigger vehicle, rolls. I like it, not too bad. I like the paint apps, if you can tell, two different colors of uh, kind of a chromed out red as a put in the regular plastic red and this is a huge huge mini con gun I have nowhere else to put it I wish they could put it in the back here but that's about the only port I have is on the top here and as you can see not as nice as um, bumblebee but not bad I love the red I wish they could have done this but this is a joint as you can tell the transformation is just like any other what do you call that? Transformation for Optimus. I mean, if you've seen Optimus, it's very G1 accurate. Spit open the chest here. Yeah, and then the head pops out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is a neat thing about that is that I do remember that these wheels go somewhere, I think. All right, there we go. Oops, ball joint pops out. Okay. Ooh. Thought it would be easier than that. And, and that's the thing about transformation. It takes. I do recall something rotating. I don't recall that just being that. Let me see. Now give me a second here. So I know that we have to split it apart. I know this thing rotates, does something. Probably does, if I remember correctly. Okay, get that. Something rotates around here, it doesn't. I mean, you, you can tell the joint is there. Something goes down. There we go. That goes down and that rotates. Okay, much better. Okay, sorry about the difficulty. Took me a while to figure it out. And hey, that's all right. Oh yeah, split this. Let's split this. Get the head out. There we go. Ugh. Gosh, being all fumbly today. What is wrong with me today? All right. I'm peeling all these paint and, uh, there we go. Man, ooh, that was more difficult than it should have been. But I do love the paint apps. I love the, the head isn't as detailed as Bumblebee, but it looks good. No, no uh, rotation on the head. See, shoulder swivels has this little grip smut where he got shrug over here doesn't go up and down on a ball joint ball joint on the elbow uh, no swivel on the fist and there is waist swivel which is good knee does bend almost 90 and that's about it so it's not too bad it's a commander figure and of course I like the detail of the Autobot symbol I love the paint which uh, as you can see I was chipping off trying to transform them trying to remember how to do this and he has a humongous Minicon. Hey, look at the size of that thing. So not bad. Alright. Let's go ahead and transform the Minicon. And the thing is that he can also hold his Minicon's gun. I like it. 
Minicon just collapses on itself. The name is Roller. Oh yeah, put this up, and that's it. And it's it's a roller. It does what it does. And Roller can also hold that gun. It has a port on the top here. Bam. One thing I like about Roller, and one th and you'll notice that these Minicons, not very difficult. <laughs> There's a transformation. But he can also hold the little gun. How cool is that? All right, let's get the gang all here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's wrap this up. What a beautiful looking thing here. I like it. Stands up, both of them are pretty well. Here's for size comparison. There he is with Deluxe Class. So, tiny little figures, Commander Class, whatever you want to call it. But I just like it. I, I really like them. Here's G.I. Joe for comparison. Awesome. I like these figures. If you can get them, not bad. I think they're like $35, something like that. Takata told me exclusive, so I don't think they're on sale here. So, 30 I like them. 8 out of 10. That's all, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.